The Niger Bridge has remained a critical infrastructure because of its strategic location to the nation's economic development. Despite the setbacks suffered during the country's turbulent times, successive governments have ensured that the bridge takes its pride of place. For more than 55 years, the first Niger Bridge has been under intense pressure with increasing vehicular and human traffic coupled with old age pushing it to the limit. But as for the hold-up, it's very, very bad. Precisely, the hold-up does not supposed to be on this bridge. That is the main thing. This bridge is supposed to be free. The ongoing construction of the second Niger Bridge to ease the burden of the existing bridge has been sustained by the present administration, which has redesigned the features of this bridge in tune with modern realities. The 1.6 km bridge with three lanes on each side is at the incremental launch stage of the superstructure. This engineering ingenuity takes hours for one segment of the deck to be launched. When the whole bridge is together, we are pushing 15,000 tons of uh, concrete. 15,000 tons. Beneath the deck stretches a tunnel likened to an underground metro line, though this one is designed for maintenance purposes. Despite the pandemic ravaging the whole nation's of the world, the federal government has made it mandatory to ensure that the second Niger Bridge is delivered in time. As you can see, construction work is ongoing right here at the Onisha Aziz, where the incremental launching of the bridge is still ongoing, linking it to the Obosi Interchange, uh, which is a few kilometers away from here. The Obosi Interchange of the bridge stretches over 10.3 kilometers already. Diversion has been created to ease the pains of the road users as efforts intensify to reconstruct the existing one ramp flyover to four ramps interchange. We thank Buhari uh, for giving us our second Niger bridge. With the pace of work, it is expected that the second Niger bridge will be delivered in 2022 as promised. I'm Austin Edenodo, NTN News.